Hello, uh, Kerbonauts, I guess. Here's KSP2, Kerbal Space Program 2, and what we have in front of you today is a boat. Yes, it's a boat, okay? And let's build it together. Uh, it's a fairly simple contraption, but we'll start with a landing can. There we go. And you see you have to turn the landing can with one press of W. There you go. What we need next is a hydrogen tank. Scroll down to the hydrogen tank small. One press of a W gets it turning sideways. There you go. And we are going to grab a... I believe that is called a stabilizer. One press of a W again. All right, now let's copy this hydrogen tank to the other side. There we go. And we're going to copy it again to the end. I said we're going to copy it again. There we go. And as you can see, uh, it's not at the end, but we're going to adjust it. Adjust the hydrogen tank 90 degrees to face down and then we're going to scoot it on over I said we're going to scoot it on over to uh, right about the bottom of the landing can to where the center of the tank is okay we're almost done we got essentially our boat but it has no control so we're going to add the control to our boat because if you put this out on the ocean right now, it would just flop around. Uh, so, yeah, so what we need is uh, some big old fancy wings. Let's start with the wings. Did I pick medium wings? Yes. Uh, pick medium wings, the metamorph. And we are going to... Let's see. We are going to hit A once. I think, but no okay so I guess it doesn't really matter what side you put it on but apparently it does you want the top of the wing to be facing towards the single hydrogen tank right. and just put the wings right about the top of the lane tank can there you go we're going to adjust the wings later. In the middle of the tank we have a control surface medium one and on the sides of the tanks we have a medium stabilizer. There we go we're gonna put it on each side of the tank with the mirror. All right, now right away we will adjust the stabilizer by going to the span and saying 100, the length, 100, I believe. We'll recheck that. Where did I use? Yes. The span one, length one, 51. Okay, so as you can see, it's not on the side of the tank. It is adjusted so we will now adjust the stabilizer there you go just like that 90 degrees that way and scoot it on over to about the one third of the way through the wing there you go and then we're going to put some struts from the tank to the stabilizer okay Last but not least, uh, how about a nuclear tank to propel us forward? Something that can use the hydrogen we're sitting in. Okay, so that's your boat. Oh yeah, the, the middle wing, the me medium wings. Go ahead and scoot them together, you know, to make it look appealing. There you go. Okay. 
So I'm going to take this exact build and it's it's this exact build and we're going to launch at the boat launch. Okay. And uh, there you go. We are a boat. I believe I have infinite fuel on so I can and you turn by using Q and E. You Q and E to turn. So you can see I'm already heading places and I'm and I can go to where I want to go uh, by hitting Q and E. But uh, you hit the gas and get yourself there faster. So this is a nice little simple boat. Not too many parts. Controllable. Uh, has a decent amount of get up and go. Uh, we could probably improve it by turning the... I don't know. Maybe we can or not. Well, there. yeah, we're going. See, we're going very steadily at a nice steady pace to the island. And I'm not going to bore you with long details, but... Uh, we'd get there eventually but you could probably uh, add on to this maybe with some smaller jet engines on top of the wing maybe even some Kerbal seats on top of the wing to for some Kerbals to enjoy we could do that now if you want to or I could show you a another boat that I went a little crazy on with this concept. Where's my boat? Okay, so here I made, I started with a lander can again. It's my favorite thing to float. And below the lander can, I put a cube a six-way connector cube and below that I put a hydrogen tank but below this center one I put another hydrogen tank that came later okay but as you can see I copied this design uh, for a little bit and underneath the four corners I have nuclear tanks for if I want uh, underwater propulsion um, on the outside four ones okay and again, once again, I put on stabilizers to give me a little bit of control. Now, underneath of the hydrogen tanks, you can see that I have monopropellant tanks, okay? They keep, they sink. They keep you from bouncing too much uh, in the water. So, uh, now that I, you know, oh, okay. And I also put some jet engines, like I said about the other one. See? Instead of upgrading the other one, I made a new vehicle and I started going crazy. And before I knew it, I made this monstrosity. But let's take it for a spin. See, even they have monopropellant. Or, not monopropellant, but, uh... What do you call these things? Hydrogen. Alright, give it a little second. It will calm down. But, uh, it, the initial bounce from being put into the water... And uh, this is a little taxing on a computer, uh, not gonna lie. It's, it's okay, here we go. It'll calm down, I swear. But uh, this gives me a little bit of control, not a lot. It's like a slow lumbering log down a river. But it, it gets going. Let's see if we can get towards the island here. Last time I clocked it around 20, 20 meters per second in the water while under control. You know, I think that qualifies as a boat to me. It has very low turning capabilities. As you can see, I'm turning towards the island. It's just going to take me forever to turn towards the island, but I am directing it to go to the island. 
which qualifies as steering. And I believe that is a requirement for a boat. Now I guess this video is getting quite long because I'm showing off this boat, but I have infinite fuel on once again because it's KSP2. I can do what I want. But uh, look how stable this boat is. It's like an oil rig. That It's like a movable oil rig. And it it just it's just so beautiful. Now I tried putting those platforms on. You know those platforms that you can build with. But it made the whole thing too top heavy and the whole thing just flipped on over. So I don't know how I'm going to make a platform. Maybe with wings. Maybe I can make a a giant platform with wings. Like st horizontal stabilizers. And then on the horizontal stabilizers I could put um, Kerbal seats. Oh, that'd be cool. See, see, I got too excited. I'm showing off my boats, and I'm already, I'm already wanting to upgrade them some more to make them look cool. But look, we finally got towards the direction of the island, so this qualifies as steering. We have a successful boat in the water. Oh yeah. I guess I've been talking over the jet engines the whole time, my bad. But yeah, this is my boat. We're going at 21.3, 21.2. Uh, it's pretty nice. Very stable. Lots of fun. And just to prove uh, I was turning, I'm turning back to black, which is the screen's right. Very nice slow lumbering log, but hey, I think uh, I think we can expand on this idea and make a wonderful yacht, maybe. Okay, well yeah, this video is getting long. 